because I love the process of watching guys improve, and I love to compete, and I, I love taking a team into into battle, into uh, compete, and and put their hearts out there and lock arms as brothers, and it just it it, it fires me up. Well, we have 26 practices in at the time of filming this. So how do I feel after 26 practices? Well, I'm excited because I believe in our guys. I enjoy coaching them. And I feel like they're hungry and they're focused on uh, the process of improving and developing. I'm always a little bit reticent because there's just so much more you'd like to prepare your team because you want your team to be successful. And this early in the year, this few practices and this few scrimmage experiences, it just always feels like there's more that you could help them to go be successful. But it's a long season. I think this team knows that it's about how good we can become and not any type of satisfaction with where we're at. As you would hope any coach would feel at the end of October, but specifically with no seniors to, to understand that we're in a, a long-term process of uh, keeping it, uh, you know, a mindset of growth and development and improvement. Well, the player who's got the most preseason recognition is Matei, as he should. Um, he's one of the elite shooters in Division One basketball. We expect him to have a fantastic junior year. He's got size. Um, he's versatile. He can play multiple positions. He can defend multiple positions. And so that's a great starting point right there because he's proven. Morgan is what we call a 1.5. He can play both guard spots. He can play on the ball, off the ball, which gets a lot of versatility. Then, you know, the production from the three transfers, Deshaun as a sophomore, Miles and Volante as junior. I expect those guys to contribute well. Aaron Nettles, extremely improved player. Troy Brown comes from Shoreline Community College, Garfield High School, averaged 30 points a game to lead the NWAC last year. That's an impact player who's coming in right there. We think that the freshmen have a chance uh, to help us, particularly maybe early Riley, just because he's physically a little closer to college college level, but, but Trey and Rick and Ian are, are some really good players. Uh, and then Anon, who led California Junior Colleges in shot box, uh, gives us depth and it's six tenths of size in the post that you need, especially in whack play. So it'll, it'll probably be a higher scoring team than last year, and we'll play a little faster. As, as we really, really make our mark, you know, a team that is making 12, 13 three-pointers a game, uh, getting in the free throw line a lot, shooting over 50%, that's something that is still in the vision. It, it, we're, we're not quite there yet, but we're gonna get there. Well, they keep scoring, so you wanna win. So one of the first goals I look is, is we want to have a winning season. You know, as I more and more coach, it's my 20th year as a head coach, I think I'll look at it a lot on how much we develop each player's potential. One way of looking at success, by the enjoyment level, by the players and the coaches. We're eager to compete. We're re eager to, to take on an opponent. And I believe that this team, despite a very difficult schedule, has the potential to have a season that will make all of the Seattle U fans uh, excited. See you at the game. Together.